Have you ever thought about what your life would be like if you didn't care what other people think? Getting up every day without having to worry about what other people think, without being afraid of being judged, and without the constant feeling like you have to prove yourself to everyone else. What if you could live bravely? For many of us, life is free and calm, and nothing can shake that feeling. It appears to be a list of EXP demands from family, friends, and society. We tell ourselves and our friends to speak up if we want to stand out, make our mark, and while aiming for success is fine, allowing these norms to dictate our existence exposes us to the possibility of becoming enmeshed. We are caught in a cycle of constantly seeking approval and worrying about how others perceive us. We're afraid of what will happen if we don't meet these standards. But what if I told you there was another way? Instead of meeting others' standards, live by your own. You possess inner peace and strength that enable you to act with confidence. Even with everyone watching and facing doubt fearlessly, this isn't the case. It's not some unrealistic goal or a fantasy. It's a way of thinking that comes from old knowledge that for hundreds of years has helped people get through life's hardest times. Now picture this. You're in a situation where people criticize your choices or put pressure on you. If you need to protect yourself, you might want to fight to explain or prove your point, but you choose to stay calm, take a deep breath and not respond. You don't need to defend yourself or fight back. Instead, you hold your belief that your worth isn't based on others' opinions. Right now, you're not just avoiding strife. You're also drawing power that doesn't need to be there. We're all strong without being loud. We can grow, but we must change our self-image. The world around us is about letting go of the need to always be right. Understanding real power is essential for maintaining control and making your voice heard. It comes from inside and doesn't rely on approval from others. Living without the fear of failure gives us a strong sense of freedom, but too often we pause and feel trapped. Fear of what might happen if things don't go as planned keeps us from living the life we could be leading. How scary to fail, look foolish or lose everything we've accomplished, but what if you could? Keep in mind that you have nothing to lose in every case. Take chances to follow your dreams and stand up for what you believe in. With this mindset, the fear of failure doesn't hold you back. Not being careful or reckless doesn't mean that you don't know that most of the it implies that our fears aren't as dangerous as we think. Realizing that mistakes are a normal part of life and that they don't define us is the first step toward failing less. When you let go of old things, you make room for new ones. In this new space, you find freedom. Remember that you only lose the chance to live fully. Being honest and acting like you don't have anything gives you a lot of power. Losing it allows you to live life with purpose and drive without feeling burdened. The fear of failure or the opinions of others inspires you to take risks Take brave steps to speak your truth and follow your interests without giving up. The world tells you to be safe, fit in, and calm. How do you adapt? To get acceptance, it starts with a change in how you see things. Understanding that others' opinions, actions, and possessions don't define you are valuable because of who you are, your character, and your unique qualities. You can stay true to yourself no matter what faces you. When you stop trying to get other people to like you, you start to find peace within yourself. You realize you don't need to draw attention or prove yourself. You understand that there's no need to cling to insignificant things. You understand that the most significant aspects of life. We value honesty, peace of mind and partnerships that are independent. They don't come from external validation. They come from within with this same attitude. It involves acknowledging that life is uncertain and that's acceptable. A lot of time trying to keep our lives under control, but the truth is that there's, we only have so much power over things. We can't always know what will happen. 
Though you can't prevent undesirable things, you can choose how to handle them. They faced them with courage, fortitude, and the assurance that everything would turn out for the best. It's not that life will always be easy or free from difficulties, but this is a beneficial thing because it means you'll be able to handle anything that comes your way and stay cool. It can be challenging to navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and perseverance. In a world that often seems to be in a state of chaos, push forward even when the way isn't clear. It's challenging to believe that this way of thinking can give you security and power. Maintain a grounded approach to remain authentic and instill significance in your life. It's not about what's happening around you, finding strength in quiet moments and being able to, you should listen, watch and act on purpose instead of on instinct as you start this trip. If you want to find yourself, don't try to be someone else or live up to others' ideals. The strength you already possess is what enables you to live bravely and calmly, that nothing can shake. It's about learning to be sure of yourself, even when having faith that you have nothing to lose by being true to yourself in the face of doubt, and to find peace in that. Before you start to adopt this way of thinking, ask yourself what would your life be like if you didn't care so much about what other people think? What would you be able to do if you didn't care so much? They stopped worrying about failing and began living as if they had nothing to lose. If you answer these questions, your whole life could change. You would have the freedom to express your thoughts without fear of judgment, not only accepted, but also respected, giving a deep sense of peace and power in if I told you that the power to change your life doesn't lie in what people today value, what you don't say more than what you do. And quick responses. There is an old saying that says the opposite. You have more power and can hear more when you are quiet. It's not enough to say less. You need to listen more deeply and notice more. The clarity that comes from silence illuminates the world. The Stoics knew this. Indeed, the lessons they imparted about silence have the potential to significantly alter our daily routines. People often mistake quiet for emptiness or a lack of something to say. In reality, silence has a lot of promise. It's a place where your mind can rest, where clarity can grow and real understanding can take hold. The act of it takes skill to hold back words and not rush to fill every empty space with noise. When you possess discipline and knowledge, you understand that not every situation warrants a reaction and that sometimes the most important thing you can do is to say nothing choice, a conscious choice to listen and observe rather than an inactive state, as well as the knowledge that when you choose silence, you give yourself the, when you have space to fully process what's going on around you, you can see things more clearly and understand other people better and react in more thoughtful and useful ways. This is what Stoicism is all about. Wisdom is the ability to maintain composure and focus in the face of challenges or disagreement. Think about how often we want to act right away, especially when someone questions or attacks us. The first thing we do is defend ourselves. We should make sure our voice is heard, but this quick response often gets in the way. It forces us to express our opinions before fully comprehending the situation, potentially resulting in misunderstandings. The Stoics teach us that we should not speak out when we disagree or when a fight gets worse. By choosing quiet, we can avoid these pitfalls and keep our inner peace. We can act in ways that are in line with our true values instead of our short-lived ones. In silence, we can better hear ourselves and others. But when we're alone, we can hear and understand our own ideas better, discover what truly matters and what motivates individuals in such profound depth. Listening is a powerful tool for personal growth because it enables us to transcend our initial responses and give the world some thought and do something about it on purpose. Silence can also help. 
Get people to respect you. When you speak less, your words mean more. When you speak up, people will listen more carefully because they know what you're thinking. This is a powerful kind of quiet that doesn't need to yell to be heard. Its strength comes from being able to control yourself, pick your words carefully, and understanding that not every thought requires speech encourages us to pause before speaking. The next time you feel the urge to react right away, speak up. Take a moment to breathe deeply and ask yourself if your words are important and will add value. The talk, or if it would be better to be quiet, this simple practice can change how you interact with others, helping you talk to them better and avoid pointless arguments. Disagreements and silence foster deeper connections with others. When we listen without responding right away, we show that we value the other person's point of view and make room for them. Allowing them to express themselves freely without fear of interruption or judgment is crucial. Listening makes connections stronger and builds trust. It shows that we're not just waiting for our turn to talk. We truly want to hear what the other person has to say. This method can be especially helpful. When there is a fight and emotions are high, our reaction is often to protect ourselves, explain what we did, or show where the other. Although the individual is incorrect, these responses typically exacerbate the situation. We can calm down arguments by choosing silence and listening instead of responding, and find better ways to solve them. In this manner, we can comprehend the other person's concerns and respond accordingly. Instead of being angry or upset, we should adopt calm and measured ways. Silence also gives us the, the chance to think about how we feel when we don't speak up. We can better notice how we're feeling and tell when we're acting out. We can choose how to deal with feelings of anger, fear or nervousness. When we understand ourselves in a manner that aligns with our genuine values, we achieve. The foundation of Stoic thought is the notion that we are empowered to choose how we feel and that our emotions don't have to control our lives. We have the freedom to choose how we react to the world around us. It becomes a tool for personal strength, helping us stay focused and grounded even when things are tough. This helps us be calm and act on purpose instead of instinct. It also gives us the space to, this is what it means to listen, watch and learn before we talk. Stoic knowledge is the ability to keep your cool and only speak up when we need to do this kind of practice and really listen to the world around us. When there is silence, we begin to perceive things differently and focus on the small details. We hear the little things that we might have missed if we were too focused on talking. What others say and do helps us understand our situations. Being aware in this way is a powerful way to deal with the problems you face in life. This allows us to gain a clearer understanding of the situation, enabling us to make more informed decisions and take appropriate action. Silence also teaches us to be careful and thoughtful, being patient reminds us that not every problem requires immediate attention. Sometimes the best thing to do is to do nothing and watch what happens. One important part of Stoic knowledge is being patient. It's about realizing that. There's no need to rush to fix everything. Sometimes it's best to just let things be. Doesn't mean being stupid or uncaring. It means being careful and thoughtful in our, as we delve deeper into the power of silence, we begin to realize that it's not enough to just talk less. You need to listen more and make things happen. This is a place to think, reflect and act after giving it some thought. A big change in how we live our daily lives. It's a way of life that is having self-control, being wise and having a lot of respect for the power of words. In a world that can be confusing and stressful, practicing silence can help you feel calm and clear. Let's us handle life's problems with grace and calm, so we can stay grounded when things go wrong and to do not act on instinct, but with purpose. 
This is the real power of silence means understanding what you hear and speaking only when necessary. It does matter, but being quiet is about more than just not saying anything. We create space in our hearts and minds when we quiet the surrounding noise. Noise, pointless conversations, and constant chatter surround us. The purpose of this silence is to improve understanding and connections between people. It nourishes us and facilitates our self-connection, enabling us to hear our own words. The world around us is a place where we can live out our core values. Full of noise, both real noise and the noise of views and demands. Because of social forces, we are constantly getting messages telling us who, how to act and live in the middle of. It's easy to lose sight of what's important when there's a lot of noise around. The chance to tune out all this noise and concentrate on what's important. We can get in touch with our real selves, remember our beliefs and act on them. When we choose quiet, we also become more authentic. Being aware helps us see the little things that we might miss otherwise. Small changes in a person's voice tone can convey their feelings without them explicitly expressing them. Being aware of the peaceful beauty of the world around us is a strong way to We can see the world with new eyes. It's a tool for personal growth. We should strive to live more mindfully and cherish the small moments in life. Being present and quiet can also help us see the truth. When we are still, we can see things more clearly, figure out why we do what we do, and recognize the fears that drive us. Understanding our desires and how they influence our choices is crucial. Personal growth is important because it helps us learn more about ourselves. To identify areas for improvement and take steps toward becoming the people we want to be, silence is not an option. Just thinking about yourself isn't the only thing that connects us. When we listen more and when we talk less, we make room for stronger relationships with other people. By understanding their perspectives, you can relate to their situations and strengthen your relationships. Relationships this kind of bond is necessary for a fulfilled life. It helps us build community and find deeper meaning by making us feel more linked to the people around us. There is purpose in the way we communicate with each other. In this sense, silence can enhance our communication skills. Having important ties lets us get to know other people better. To build trust and respect, you need to know what they want and need. Connection is important for a joyful life. It makes us feel closer to each other. This allows us to feel like we're part of a group and find more value in our lives and reason for our relationships. But silence isn't just along with listening to others. We must also listen to ourselves. We need quiet to block out the outside world's noise and hear our own thoughts. Voice more clearly. This voice inside us is a strong compass that helps us find our way. We must make choices in life that align with our morals and strive to live a life of integrity. This kind of deep listening requires more purpose and meaning for personal growth. Understanding ourselves allows us to better understand our skills. We must accept our flaws and change to become our best selves. It assists us in identifying our areas of improvement, enabling us to establish objectives that are realistic. It is important to find meaning and attainable goals and to take steps towards living a fuller life. When we choose to live in silence, it's also a powerful way to train ourselves to be more calm. By remaining silent, we are exercising self-control, we are opting to hold off on speaking in order to prioritize listening over speaking. This kind of self-discipline is going to help you talk and act on purpose instead of on instinct. Important for personal growth because it helps us stay focused on our goals and avoid. This allows us to avoid distractions and act in a manner that aligns with our morals. Silence helps us build inner strength because it lets us stay. When things go wrong, 
I have the grounding to act with purpose rather than emotion. This kind of inner strength helps us stay calm in tough times, is necessary for personal growth and helps us deal with the difficulties of life. With grace and strength, we can stay true to our values and live with more. There is a reason for being quiet, but it's not just about self-discipline. Being humble involves acknowledging our own limitations when we choose silence. We don't need to be the center of attention and can learn from others. Being humble is important for personal growth because it keeps us open to new things. Ways for us to improve ourselves and become the people we want to be. In this sense, silence contributes to our humility by allowing us to remain. We must remain grounded in the face of success to recognize our flaws and learn from them, from other people. This kind of humility is important for personal growth because it lets to be open to new ideas, to make up for lost time, and to grow into the we want to be quiet. And it's also a powerful tool for being kind to ourselves, means giving ourselves time to forgive when we choose to be quiet. We need to take responsibility for our actions and meet our own wants. Self-compassion is an important part of growing as a person because it helps us stay centered when adverse things happen and move forward. We should act with purpose rather than instinct and maintain our composure during challenging times. Silence can contribute to building in these types of events. Self-compassion helps us stay centered when adverse things happen and move forward. We should act with purpose rather than instinct and maintain our composure when faced with challenges. This kind of self-compassion is important for personal growth in many scenarios. Let's approach the challenges we encounter in life with grace and strength, ensuring that we remain true to our ideals and live with integrity. Still, quiet isn't just about being kind to yourself, it's also about having bravery. We are being brave to face our fears when we choose to be quiet. We promise to stand up for what we believe in and do what is right. Values like these. Courage is important for personal growth. It helps us stay grounded so that he can act with purpose instead of instinct when things go wrong. This method of maintaining composure under challenging circumstances is achieved through silence. It becomes a way to build courage. It helps us stay grounded in tough times so we can act with purpose. Instead of acting on instinct, this kind of courage helps us stay calm in tough conditions. Important for personal growth, it helps us deal with the problems we face in life. To stay true to our ideals and live with more meaning, we need grace and strength, choice. Silence is also a strong way to respect ourselves when we choose to be quiet. With this kind of self-respect, we accept our own wants, set limits, and take care of ourselves. It's important for personal growth because it helps us stay grounded when bad things happen and act with purpose instead of, instead of acting on emotion, we should try to keep our cool in tough situations. In this way, quiet becomes a self-respect is a skill for building it, and it helps us stay centered when undesirable things happen. We should act with purpose rather than instinct and maintain our composure when faced with challenges. In some cases, having this kind of self-respect is important for personal growth because it to deal with the problems we face in life with grace and strength so that we can stay true to our. It's important to live with more purpose and values, but silence isn't just about self-love and respect are both at play when we choose to be quiet. We should allow ourselves to love and forgive ourselves for our mistakes, and we should take care of ourselves. Self-love like this is important for personal growth because it lets we stay grounded in hard times so that we can act with purpose instead of instead of acting based on our emotions and maintaining our composure in challenging situations. In this way, silence helps us love ourselves because it allows us to be present. 
When things go wrong, I have the grounding to act with purpose rather than emotion. This kind of self-love is what helps us stay calm in tough times. Important for personal growth, it helps us deal with the problems we face in life. To stay true to our ideals and live with more meaning, we need grace and strength. And purposeful silence isn't just saying less, it's also about hearing more. It's important to allocate time for individuals to reflect, digest, and take action after careful consideration. There has been a big change in how we live our daily lives. This new way of life is based on self-control, being wise and having a lot of respect for the power of words in a world that often. When life feels crazy and too much, practicing silence can help. Being calm and clear helps us handle life's problems with grace and ease, so we can stay rooted in the, when faced with challenges, it's important to act with purpose rather than emotion. The real power of silence is being able to listen, understand, and only talk when you need to. In the real world, as we move on from the strong idea of silence and its role in, the next step is something that helps us navigate life with clarity and calm. Another crucial aspect of Stoic philosophy is the courage to act without fear. Fear silences us, allowing us to listen more intently and respond more thoughtfully. Wisdom is the ability to make decisions even when faced with uncertainty. It propels us forward, enabling us to fully embrace the unknown, take advantage of chances without being scared. Imagine what your life would be like if you did that. If there were no questions or fears stopping you, could you move? Going through life with faith, even when it's not easy, the Stoics taught us the importance of acting without fear, a lesson we can all learn from. The idea that life is worth living is at the heart of acting without fear. Despite the inherent uncertainty of life, the Stoics teach us that we may not be able to. We have the ability to choose our response to external events, which involves accepting them. That doubt is normal, and trying to eliminate it can be challenging. Stoics say that we shouldn't be afraid of the unknown. Instead, they tell us to face it with bravery and strength. Maintaining composure in every circumstance is more important than being careless or taking unnecessary risks. Maintain a calm mind, knowing that we are strong internally no matter what. To deal with it, Fear often stems from our desire for certainty and knowledge. What will happen next to be able to predict and manage what will happen so that things go as planned? Plan, but the Stoics warn us that this need for clarity is a mistake, is a trap because it makes us worried about things we can't change. Focusing on what we can control can help us deal with worry and stress. With the right deeds and attitudes, we can handle uncertainty with more trust, when we shift our perspective, we can take risks, not because we are certain of our success, but because we have faith in our abilities. It means being able to change and adapt to any situation. It's not about eliminating doubt, it's about not getting scared. By accepting and growing with it, you can handle it better. We can overcome fear by questioning our own stories. Rooted in our thoughts in the worst-case scenarios we make up when we have worries, the Stoics teach us to deal with the what-ifs that keep us from moving forward. Make sure these ideas make sense and question their assumptions. Bringing our fears to the present often makes them less impossible. Reason allows us to recognize them for what they truly are, often spun lies. Sometimes illogical but rarely impossible to overcome, the Stoics also taught us to face our fears, stress how important it is to be ready. Even though we can't know what will happen, we can, getting mentally and physically strong, will help you get ready for it. To think clearly, we need to train our thoughts to stay calm when we don't know what will happen. We must maintain our composure when things don't go as planned and perform effectively under pressure. This kind of planning doesn't get rid of risk, but it does give us the tools. 
To being well prepared allows us to manage situations more effectively and address issues efficiently. Knowing that we have the skills and attitude to get through them gives us hope. Stoic thinking about loss and fear is one of its most liberating aspects. One of the main reasons people don't take risks is fear of failing, but the Stoics tell us that failure is not something to fear, but rather something to embrace. Failure is a normal part of life. A teacher who tells us what we need to work on and how we can do better by making changes, we can eliminate much of the fear that prevents us from moving forward by changing the way we think about failure. There is a better way to look at loss than as a disaster, as a chance to learn and grow. When our thoughts change, we can take more risks, knowing we won't be upset if we fail. The Stoics taught us that we will come out of this stronger and smarter. It is crucial to let go of the desire for certainty. The Stoics teach us that certainty is a myth, is always shifting and nothing is ever a sure thing. By accepting this, we set ourselves free. We shield ourselves from the stress that arises from attempting to control things that are beyond our control. To trust our abilities, we learn to be okay with not knowing what will happen next. It's not necessary to be perfect to cope with uncertainty and find peace. Being inactive or uninterested means being open to whatever comes your way. The Stoics advise us to live in the moment and not worry about the future. Instead of focusing on the end result, we should pay attention to the process. We freeze up because we fear failure, but focusing on the process helps. We must continue our efforts to learn, grow, and take constant action. Because we aren't depending on a certain result, this way of thinking lets us move without fear. We're more willing to take risks because we understand that our work, not the outcome, determines our success. We stay because of the lessons we learn along the way. The process helps us stay encouraged to keep going and to find happiness in the journey rather instead of focusing on their destination. The Stoics instruct us on how to develop a sense of detachment from the external approval of our work that they deem inadequate not by what other people think of us, but by what we do and how we act. We cease to fear judgment and rejection when we release the need for approval. Detachment frees us to act more freely and honestly, because we don't have to worry about making other people happy. We guide ourselves by our own beliefs and principles, prepared to meet their needs. Be brave and take risks, even against the crowd. This way of thinking helps us. We should be braver in our pursuit of our true loves and stay true to who we are. The idea of memento mori is another strong stoic principle that can be used even when things are unclear. We need to remember that we are mortal and that our time on earth is short. We don't intend this lesson to be depressing. But instead, it serves as a reminder to live fully and seize the opportunities that present themselves. Since we only have so much time, we're more likely to take chances to follow our dreams. It helps us put our fears aside when we live with a sense of urgency and purpose. It's important to keep things in perspective and realize that what we worry about is usually not that essential. This view helps us see how small things are in the grand order of things and focus on what really counts. Remember that living our beliefs has no downside and everything to gain. Along with memento mori, the Stoics teach us to accept the idea of love. If you love your fate, you accept whatever comes your way in life. When we accept everything good or bad, with love and thanks, we no longer worry because we know everything will work out. And benefit, this way of thinking lets us act without fear because we are not. We are not tied to a certain result. We are ready for whatever life brings us. Since it's part of our journey, we accept it fully. Being able to see things from a different point of view helps us be at peace and content even when things are unsure. One of the most important parts of acting without fear is being curious and amazed. 
Resilience means being able to get back up after a setback and keep going. It's not about never being able to bounce back from problems. When we talk about not letting our fears or doubts rule us, it's not about feeling them. It's about staying true to our ideals, keeping our eyes on our goals, and going with our plans even when things get tough. The road is hard, but being resilient lets us face doubt with trust. We are more likely to take chances when we believe we have the inner strength to handle anything that comes our way. It's freeing to know we can handle any issues. Come up with another way to act without fear. Practice mindfulness like the Stoics. I felt that we can have more control over our behaviors if we watch our thoughts and feelings without judging them. Being aware of our thoughts and feelings helps us know when we are scared and makes us pause before we act. By making us more aware of our actions, this exercise helps us act with more clarity. We can choose not to let our fears and worries take over our lives by practicing awareness. Can find the inner strength to deal with the problems in life in a calm, and Stoics teach us that being calm is important, but moving without fear also needs self-compassion. We are all flawed, we all make mistakes, and that's just how it is. Being human requires us to be kind and patient with ourselves. Stop being afraid of failing and putting too much pressure on yourself to be great. It helps us accept our flaws, learn from our mistakes, and keep going. This way of thinking helps us keep going even when things don't go as planned. We are more willing to take chances when we know we won't be too harsh on ourselves if we fail. This also helps us to Taking care of ourselves makes us stronger so we can get back on our feet after a loss. To fully understand the Stoics, we must also understand how important it is to have a clear sense of purpose. Because our ideals and goals guide us, we're more likely to take risks. Having a greater sense of meaning and direction gives us the strength to face Uncertainty makes it challenging to be brave and keep going when things get tough. Helps us keep our attention on what's important. Instead of getting sidetracked by a sense of purpose, can help us deal with our fears and questions by giving us more drive to act. We believe we are on the right path, regardless of the outcome. It's not clear, but the Stoics may teach us the most important thing by the Stoics thought that true wealth doesn't come from outside sources because they knew they had nothing to lose. Not from material things or accomplishments, but from inner qualities like wisdom, bravery, and no matter what, we cannot lose self-discipline or other similar qualities. When we understand this, we understand that we don't need to be afraid of losing or failing because our true worth isn't based on what other people think of us. This makes us brave enough to take chances to follow our dreams and live our lives. We ensure that our personal joy and contentment originate from within us. When we follow the Stoic advice to act without fear, we start to understand that we shouldn't avoid the unknown. We should welcome the unknown because that's where we find growth. They said that we should find our real ability and live life to the fullest. Remind us that life isn't about escaping risks. It's about being brave, strong, and smart enough to deal with them. Having this attitude helps us deal with life's unknowns with confidence and grace, knowing that we have the inner strength to get through them. Being strong enough to handle anything that comes our way and acting without fear is about more. These wise people taught us that living a brave and meaningful life is more than just taking chances. While people can't change their circumstances, they can change their responses. By facing our fears and preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally, we can focus on what we can change. We can get through life if we let go of our need for security and outside approval. With this way of thinking, we can face life's unknowns with faith and grace. We have to take chances to follow our dreams and live fully, knowing that we have nothing to lose. By following the stoic rules of memento mori, 
You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. We can find happiness and peace in the midst of challenges with love and strength. Even without knowing the outcome, we can act clearly and purposefully, unknown. This is what it means to live with courage and act without fear. We accept the unknown and believe we can handle whatever comes our way. As we transition from discussing how to act fearlessly, taking risks and being brave in the face of doubt, we now turn our pay attention to a principle that all of these acts are based on, humility in a world that people often praise bravery and make a big deal out of one's accomplishments. It may seem strange to be humble, but the Stoics knew that real power comes from being humble. Being quiet, confident in knowing your worth, does not require pride or the need for approval. What if we discovered the true power of restraint without the need to demonstrate it, the grace to act without seeking praise, and the quiet confidence that comes from humility are essential. For the Stoics, it's not about devaluing oneself, but rather about acknowledging your place within it. Realize that your actions matter, but they don't define them. Having a different point of view lets you act with purpose and meaning without having to draw attention to yourself. The Stoics thought that the need to brag or look for praise shows that you are weak, not strong. If you believe in yourself and what you do, you don't need other people to tell you what's right. If you tell yourself how valuable you are, you can go through life with a quiet confidence that is far. This humility is more powerful than any praise from others. The Stoics teach us to be aware of our own limits. No matter how smart or skilled we are, there is always more to learn. There is always room for improvement. Being aware of this keeps us grounded and stops us from, it keeps us from getting cocky or comfortable by reminding us that every success is part of a bigger journey and that real knowledge lies in always looking for improvement. When we know our limits, we're more willing to learn from others and listen more. In addition to saying, humility means growing in unexpected ways, realizing that our successes are often due to things we can't control. The Stoics knew very well that fate, luck and other people's actions all play a part in our lives. Being aware makes us feel grateful instead of proud when we achieve, the Stoics say. Remember that our successes are not solely our own, but rather the culmination of numerous individuals' contributions. We are appreciative of our teachers' help, our family's love and support, and the current good fortune we are enjoying. Perspective humbles us by reminding us that people wrote our successes, not just us. That our fate is another important part of Stoic humility. Is realizing that Stoics teach us to value our inner traits because praise from others is short-lived. Over praise from others, even though it might feel good to get praise, or we understand that these things are fleeting and frequently beyond our control. Being content comes from living our lives according to our values and knowing that we did our best no matter what. Focusing on ourselves lets us act, even if other people don't see or agree with it. Without needing approval from others, we are freed from the stress of constantly trying to get consent. Being humble lets us be real with others, which improves our relationships. In relationships, we listen more, judge less, and value what others have to say. This kind of humility helps people get along with others without feeling threatened by them. There is a sense of community and teamwork where people work together for the good of the group, not for their own glory. Stoics understood that releasing our desire to dominate others creates space for others to shine. Shine, which in turn makes the surroundings more peaceful and helpful. For when we're feeling positive about ourselves, humility keeps us grounded and tells us not to. We should not become overly excited about our accomplishments, but instead focus on achieving our goals. Stoics thought that pride often leads to a fall 
and the moment we start to think we are when we believe we are immune to harm, we become weak. Humbleness keeps us from falling into this trap by making us aware of our own flaws. We are all fallible, and being aware of this helps us because it reminds us that success is never a given. Stay alert to keep aiming for greatness and avoid getting comfortable. That can bring us down. Humility is also very important in The Stoics teach us that failure is a normal part of life, not a sign of our goodness. Based on our personal experiences, we understand that failure increases the likelihood of success. To take what they've learned and use it as a chance to grow instead of being, even though our mistakes hurt, we can accept them as part of the trip and move on with a new sense of purpose. This view gives us the strength to deal with problems because we know that failures don't make us less valuable, but by how we deal with them. This is another important part of Stoicism. Being humble means giving up being proud. The Stoics teach us that being proud is. This is not a sign of strength or weakness. It's often a way of hiding nervousness. We compensate for our personal concerns by disparaging others or exaggerating our own. As the Stoics said, real strength comes from having quiet faith in knowing yourself and what you stand for without showing it is powerful. It is unshakable because it stems from knowing and respecting yourself. The Stoics also tell us that humility is more important than looking for approval from other people. Being humble is important for knowledge because it makes us more open-minded. New ideas, more open to hearing what others have to say, and ready to learn from our being open to new events like these makes us wise, as it enables us to see the world as it truly is. Instead of seeing things through the skewed view of ego by admitting that we don't, we do not have all the answers. We leave room for growth, knowledge, and our constant desire to learn more keeps us humble, interested, and while constantly striving for improvement, humility also aids in coping with the inevitable. The Stoics teach us that life is full of ups and downs. The way we handle problems shapes who we are. Being humble helps us accept what we can't change and focus on what we can. Can this way of thinking help us stay calm when adverse things happen? Humility helps us stick with things even when they don't go as planned and get through challenging times. The strength to keep going no matter what and to adapt is essential. One of the most important things about Stoic humility is that it helps us focus on the problems we face. The Stoics believe that we all belong to a larger community and we should base our actions on a sense of duty to others. This means putting their needs first group over our own need for praise or attention when we act with being humble implies having a genuine desire to assist others. This focus on service not only helps make the world a better place, it makes our own lives better and gives us a stronger sense of meaning. In addition to happiness and success, humility also tells us to forgive others. Stokians teach us that keeping anger or dwelling on the past is detrimental for us and others. Focusing on past mistakes keeps us from growing. By being humble in life, we can give up the need to be right to win every fight or keep our. We can put our attention on what really matters, our relationships and our honesty, rather than our pride. Forgiveness fosters personal growth and enables us to progress toward healing and moving forward. Moving on with your life without letting the past hold you back is possible through forgiveness. Being humble is an important part of being patient, and it helps us live in peace. Being able to accept mistakes is another important part of Stoic humility. The Stoics teach us that accepting our mistakes is not a sign of weakness, it's not an indication of fragility, but rather of strength. It takes guts to show when we're weak. We learn and grow by recognizing what we've heard. By being humble, we set ourselves free. We free ourselves from the need to be right all the time, and we let change happen. Improvement 
Being ready to own up to our mistakes is what helps us keep learning and getting better, to learn more and get smarter over time. Being humble also makes you more thankful, as the Stoics say. Our skills, possessions and abilities are gifts. We deserve more when we live our lives with humility. We are likely to appreciate what we have and others' efforts. We should be thankful for the chances and events that come our way. Being thankful makes our lives better. Live brings us happiness and peace, and it also makes our lives more meaningful relationships with other people as we thank them for their help. And finally, humility lets us live our lives as they really are. The Stoics teach us this. True happiness comes from living in line with our values, not from trying to please other people. Be humble because our own values, not our desires, guide us. We don't need to strive to impress or outperform others. Being authentic allows us to live in harmony. Honor is to be honest with ourselves and to find meaning and purpose in our lives. Acts. It frees us from the need to meet the standards of others, and it gives us the strength to follow our own way, even if it's not the same as what other people might do. The Stoics, on the other hand, promote humility not as a way to put yourself down, but as a way to strength. Being humble lets us act without needing praise to go through life. To live honestly, with a sense of thanks and service, led by our instead of seeking approval from others, humility plays a crucial role. It is through humility that we find the strength to keep learning, growing, and getting better no matter what. Despite the challenges we face, by being humble, we can live in more peace. We find happiness and satisfaction in knowing that our worth is not based on what other people think of us, but the goodness of our character and the honesty of what we do truly matter. Being humble is a real skill, and the Stoics teach us this as a way to live a worthwhile life. We are learning more about the lessons of Stoicism from the meaningful life. We must maintain silence and humility to understand our role within a larger context. Now we'll talk about an idea that might be the most freeing of all. Changeability. What if embracing change is the key to living freely? We often fear loss and the fact that our own deaths are going to happen. Imagine a life where you accepted these facts as necessary rather than fighting them. Parts of our lives how would our choices be different if we really? The Stoics thought that we have nothing to lose because everything we value is temporary. They knew that accepting change isn't just an intellectual idea, but also a powerful way to live. Courage, clarity and peace. Things change all the time. We cling to the idea of stability because of the things we try to forget or avoid. We want to believe that our relationships are safe because it gives us a sense of security. The possessions we own, our achievements and even our lives will endure forever. Sophists teach us that this holding on is what causes much of our pain. Fighting against life's flow sets us up for disappointment. Instead of being afraid, the Stoics tell us to accept change as a basic fact of life. In fact, they tell us to see change not as a threat, but as a chance. You can learn to change and enjoy life. Real form. When we realize that everything changes, we start to you feel freer now, and you don't have to worry about losing things as much. We are aware that we will misplace items. This knowledge lets us to fully enjoy the present. We understand that every event is important. Each connection and each moment is special and doesn't last long. We take these things for granted, but we value them because we know they won't last forever. This mindset shifts our focus from collecting to enjoying what we have. It lets us live. They advise us to prioritize the present over worrying about what we might lose. We can live without fear of change if we accept that things change. 
We often fear UPS because it disrupts our schedules, plans, and though people don't like change, that's what leads to growth and new ideas. Life is lively and fascinating when we stop fighting change and start. When we accept it, we make room for new situations and opportunities. It is easier to adapt, stronger, and more receptive to unexpected changes and twists that life will bring. Being able to change is an important part of living. It makes us brave because it gives us the tools to handle anything that comes our way with grace. Stoics teach that having faith in things that change and accepting that they will change again helps us let go of ties. Attachments to other people, things, or even ideas can be a great source. When we get too close to something, we start to worry about losing it. People we care about can cause us anxiety, stress, and reluctance. Take chances, but when we accept that nothing lasts forever, we can let go. Our hold on these connections. This doesn't imply that we cease to love or care. It simply signifies that we continue to love and care. Knowing that these things are only temporary allows us to enjoy what we have without worrying about the future. The knowledge that we might lose it gives us the strength to let go when the time comes. When you live with the knowledge that this is a normal part of life, the concept of impermanence also aids us in maintaining our focus on what truly matters. Knowing we have little time makes us prioritize our values. We stop spending time on unimportant things and focus on our relationships and our hobbies. Start putting our energy into the things that make us content and satisfied. That is, Stoics advise living each day as if it were our last. This way of thinking helps us to not act in a careless or scared way, but with a sense of purpose and meaning. Enjoy every moment to have fewer regrets and leave a lasting legacy. The silent practice of memento leaves us a memory that shows who we really are. Mori, or the realization that we will die, is a powerful way to accept death. Instead of being depressing or depressing, the practice of death should inspire us to live life to the fullest. We are more likely to act when we convince ourselves that time is running out. We take risks to pursue our dreams and live our lives in accordance with our values. The memento mori helps us put our fears in perspective and see that many of, in the grand scheme of things, our worries are insignificant, so we should focus on what truly matters. Important things. This practice makes us live with a sense of urgency, not in the not in a hurry, but in terms of making the most of the time we have, we have another way of enjoying. When the Stoics talk about change, they mean learning to accept the natural rhythms of life. We are aware that life is filled with cycles, such as birth and death, growth and decay and new beginnings. Cycles of ends are not something to fear or resist, they are a reality. When we accept life's cycles, we can handle the ups and downs. We can manage life's ups and downs more effectively because we understand that every ending is also a beginning. I am beginning to understand that every loss presents an opportunity for new growth and every problem presents an opportunity to grow stronger. Accepting ourselves as we are helps us go through life with more peace and confidence, knowing that we can handle what comes our way. Accepting that things change over time also teaches us to find. Because life is short, the Stoics say we should enjoy the brief times of joy, love and peace. These moments are priceless because we fully embrace them and feel a transient bond. Impermanence. We can savor these moments without clinging to them. Enjoy the beauty of a sunset, the comfort of a hug, or the happiness of a shared moment. We appreciate these events more when we laugh at the idea that they are unique and won't happen again. Adding a sense of depth and variety to our lives makes us more aware of them. Being grateful and accepting of the fact that things change allows us to release our fears. Failure 
The Stoics tell us that failing is a normal part of life. It's not something to fear, but rather something to learn from. When we know that our mistakes, like everything else, are only temporary, we can face problems with more courage. When we feel strong, we're more likely to take chances, leave our comfort zones, and go after our goals. We are sure that we will learn and grow from any mistakes we make. This way of thinking frees us from the grips of standards and lets us live more. Living bravely and honestly in the face of change also aids us. Build up your detachment. The Stoics assert that detachment is not necessary. The key is realizing that our happiness isn't dependent on others. When we accept that things will change, we can separate ourselves from the results of our acts, understanding that we, we can't control everything that happens. But detachment lets us act with we experience greater freedom and tranquility as we're not dependent on a particular result from our actions. We can do our best to live by our beliefs and deal with whatever comes our way with grace. Accepting uncertainty and equanimity also makes us more likely to be thankful. The Stoics tell us that our health, our relationships, and our wealth are all gifts from God. Knowing that things we own are only temporary helps us value them more. Being grateful allows us to appreciate the present and live in the moment. Looking at what we have rather than what we fear losing helps us appreciate it. This practice of thanks helps us see the positive things in our lives, even when things are hard, brings happiness and satisfaction even when things change, and that these lessons from the Stoics teach us how to live with more peace and happiness. Understanding that things evolve over time increases our compassion. People are more kind because we know everyone is grieving and changing. We understand that others feel the same way we do about happiness and sadness. This knowledge helps us feel connected and compassionate, which lets us build stronger, more important relationships. Kindness in relationships also facilitates the acceptance and release of grudges, as well as the resolution of disagreements. I'm eager to discover a solution and understand another crucial aspect. When you accept that things change, you can let go of power, the Stoics say, tells us that we can control what we do and how we feel, but not the understanding how things work, helps us let go of the need to control, let go of control, and trust in the natural flow of life. This gives us more choice and the ability to adapt to new situations. This way of thinking allows us to find peace in the midst of doubt and bad luck. The stress of trying to keep track of everything, it lets us focus on what's important. Living in harmony with our principles are about making the most of every moment while accepting that things change. Living authentically is more likely when time is running out. When we stop trying to be what others want and live as ourselves, we should start living according to our own wants and values. Being real gives our lives more meaning and satisfaction because we know we are keeping true to ourselves. Additionally, it prevents us from feeling pressured to conform to societal norms, allowing us to follow our own path. Stoics teach us that accepting change is a sign of confidence and clarity. When we realize everything is temporary, we take more risks. This makes us braver. To get out of our comfort zones and follow our dreams, we have to take chances. Even if we fail, it won't be the end of us. It will simply be a part of our journey. We have the courage to face problems head on because we understand them. It is important to persevere when faced with challenges and to persist even when the path is difficult. Uncertainty. This bravery isn't about not being afraid, it's about admitting. We have to face our fears and act anyway because we have nothing to lose. We have everything to gain by being aware of how things change. They teach us that to find peace in the present moment, we must live in it, is the only time we really have since the past is over and the future is unknown. When we accept this fact, we can let go of anger and sorrow about the past, 
think less about the future and more about living fully in the present, is what helps us enjoy the beauty and wonder of life more deeply, each moment, and to be happy and at peace with our lives, because we know that embracing change is a strong way to make the most of our time. The story teaches us to be fearless because we have nothing to lose. Life's highs and lows, its joys and its sorrows, everything is temporary. Sadness. If we accept this fact, we can let go of our fear of losing what we need. We have more freedom because we don't have to worry about results or control them. The ability to adapt and recover from setbacks, coupled with the belief that we can manage any challenge that comes our way, is crucial. Pay attention to what really counts, living a meaningful life and finding peace. We can live with happiness in the present moment by accepting that things change. Bravery, clarity and a deep sense of satisfaction in knowing that each moment is valuable and we have nothing to lose by exploring that we now understand the power of accepting change and how it allows us to live without fear. Turn to a concept that transforms things equally, the art of strategic planning. Imagine how powerful knowing when to act and when to wait would be. Knowing when to speak and when to be quiet could be the key to living a wise life. Being strong doesn't require constant action. It requires the ability to pause and reflect. The Stoics knew that we should think about our answers and pick them carefully. If you choose to manage your emotions and act on purpose, that's often where your real power lies. Instead of hurrying in a world that frequently urges us to act quickly, Stoic wisdom asks us to think about the huge effects of only moving when needed and only saying when needed. Strategic control starts when it really matters, with, for example, in moments of conflict or decision-making, taking a moment to pause and consider our response can make all the difference in the outcome. This intentional approach to action and speech can lead to greater clarity, understanding and ultimately wisdom in our interactions with others.